Good morning, here's K2EFG. A uh, similar spot as before in the top of the Judean hills. Uh, actually right looking onto the Tel Aviv Valley. And I picked a different spot this time. I wanted to uh, see if there's any um, possibility of catching New Zealand this morning. It's about 6 a.m. I want to show you a little bit about this QTH we got, the Bedouin village down below. And it's almost 270 degrees open. We've got some forest, a little bit of trees on this side, but that's the highest point in the mountain. Uh, I'm uh, next to an interesting phenomenon. I grew up here in this area. This is a burial cave. You can see it has been uh, carved out and it is now full of some debris. And the reason we know this is a burial cave is because you see this square here? This is to be a hole. And this hole would be, um, this hole would be uh, filled in with uh, stones until the burial would take place. Uh, these burial caves are said to be about 4,000 years old and the stone over there would, um, would cover the, the cave and uh, it is said that the spirit of the deceased will flow through the hole once the deceased is buried and the stone is removed. In any event, here's my buddy pole kit getting ready to deploy. I have my uh, other portable kit here in the backpack. I'll deploy that as well. Uh, we're about uh, 400 uh, meters above ground, above sea level, and I'm hoping to catch New Zealand. Um, as you may have surmised, I grew up in this area and I know it well, and I try to uh, find a better spot. Maybe I can try to catch some of the Zulu uh, stations, Zulu Sierra stations. All right, here's K2EFG getting ready to uh, unpack the buddy pole and see what the day might bring. Okay, here's uh, pre-assembly condition. I got these uh, limestones. Uh, they are natural to this area uh, as a counterweights. And here's my uh, rotating arm kit uh, along with a little bit of strain relief. I am proudly po pointing out the name of the antenna, buddy pole like this. It's also helpful when uh, curiosi curiosity seekers come and try to ask you what it is. Especially if they're local uh, law enforcement, you can show them that this is a not some sort of a homemade uh, uh, situation, but really um, a bona fide equipment. Uh, by the way, I was in that spot here below yesterday, right at the bottom of that valley. Uh, so I'm really on at the higher point today, and we can see what it is that we're doing. Uh, south is to this direction, uh, and I'm here basically due west, and north is over there. Jerusalem is about uh, 30 kilometers uh, east of me, and as you can see, the sun is just rising over the hilltop. Uh, Jerusalem is uh, in that direction, uh, about uh, 30 kilometers, which is about, I guess, 20 miles or so. All right, we'll see what we can get. I'm gonna re I'm gonna continue to assemble that and uh, see what we can get. Seven. Well, here it is. Um, antenna fully uh, open uh, at 20 meters set up. I had to use this big limestone rock as a, as a holder for the guy. Uh, the other side, I can actually put it in in the ground. The ground is made of limestone rock. It's an ancient rock from the ancient sea of Tetris, um, and it's very hard to go through it. So I had to use it. Uh, I also have the counterpoints, and I've gotten a fairly good, um, fairly good SWR 1.7. I'm not quite sure why, uh, but I'll uh, give it a shot. See what I can do. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Here's K2EFG uh, in the Judean Hills. I've set up my uh, QTH. Uh, here it is. I covered my uh, battery with a hat, which is why I'm not wearing it, because I didn't want it to overheat. The sun is uh, really coming out high, and I've took this opportunity to try again the charger. Uh, this is a Nomad charger by uh, something called, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Zero, Go Zero. Uh, it's a small charger and directly charges to the uh, battery. We'll see what happens. I'm using the buddy pole, um, here it is, you can see it, the buddy pole uh, 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 solar charter controller. 
and here is the A123 battery connected to it. There's a small little light that turns on whenever the charge is on. And so this is what I'm doing now. This is a pretty hot day. It's gonna be uh, something to the tune of 80 degrees. So I'm going to uh, try again to use it. When I last tried it, it was overcast. Uh, I made some really nice contacts, uh, mostly with Europe. Uh, I had uh, United United, that's, uh, that's uh, um, Ukraine. I had uh, Delta Lima 5, uh, again United Victor, Echo Uniform and some others. Um, they don't all hear me, I think uh, the grey line is uh, not that great. I can hear the west coast which is amazing. Um, and so uh, this is me, this is it. Uh, Kilo 2 Echo Florida, Germany, K2EFG in Israel uh, going uh, uh, portable and uh, waiting for about, it's about 7.30 uh, local time. but. Uh, um, 12.30 uh, U uh, East Coast and I'm going to wait for another couple of hours and hopefully I'll get uh, some uh, d uh, serious DX and maybe even um, South Pacific. Uh, okay, let's see how it goes. I'll let you know.